even if you think it seems about right, should be very leery of it. We had a, a gal come in who was the middle car of a three-car accident. The insurance company sent her a check for 400 and some odd dollars because her picture looked like there was just a little bit of damage to each bumper. It turned into over a $4,000 estimate. When it comes to insurance claims, let the insurer be aware of the tricks that can be played on you. Townsend says if the accident is someone else's fault, definitely get your insurance carrier involved and let them fight any battles for you. Lisa Fletcher, ABC7 News. A community tradition in only underway despite the threat of even more rain. The Women's Board Annual Picnic and Bazaar raises money for scholarships and renovations to MedStar Montgomery Medical Center. Now in its 98th year, the picnic is always held on the fourth Tuesday of July. Rain or shine? In this and year, I'm afraid it's going to be rain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing yeah, they got the tent soupy. set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, glass half full way to look at things, though. I'm talking about the rain here and along the shore. Take a look at this. You can pretty much have the beach to yourself. Ah, yeah. They, that. Uh, well, that's different. But with all this rain, the glass is totally full. Well, that's yeah. Yeah, that's it's true. It's overflowing. Overflowing, yeah. exactly right. Is that guy flying a kite? Uh, yeah, I think that he is. Ooh, oh, well, well, it's flying Soon as in. I say it, look, and everyone just runs out onto the shore. <laughs> all right. There. Wow, it's really filling up. Those are it? little feet. <laughs> They are. Oh, they where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, they knew the camera was turned on. That's what it was. Hey, the camera's on. Let's all go. There it is. All right, we'll use that as our backdrop, show you what's happening outside. Temperatures are sitting into the 70s for the most part around uh, the entire region. 79, Reagan National. We have 75 in Gaithersburg, Manassas 79. Along the shore, it's at 78 degrees. And humidity levels are elevated as well for everybody. It's a really sticky day. It's very similar to yesterday. Tomorrow is going to be similar as well. And that is off and on rain throughout the region. And that's exactly what we have right now. I looked over the last hour. We had an additional two hundredths of an inch out of that system. Light rain right now. But that's what went over Reagan National. So we are now at 8.5. One uh, for the month, still sitting at spot number eight, eighth rainiest of all time. If we get underneath some of these heavy bands, if they position themselves over uh, Reagan National, where our official observation is, that number is going to continue to go up. So often on rain for the evening tonight, cloudy conditions. We're not going to see uh, any moonlight out there tomorrow. Very little, if any, sunshine. Generally cloudy, often on rain showers. It's a, basically a repeat of what we have out there today. Have your umbrella with you. Never drive through any of the flooded roads. Flash flood watch remains in effect for a majority of our area. If there's any heavy cells that go over a particular spot, they're going to elevate that. They, meaning National Weather Service, will elevate that to a flood warning. Still a few lingering flood warnings out there that we were talking about earlier. And then as we get into your late Wednesday night, we'll start to see things move out a little bit. Thursday has a better chance of being drier, probably our first a decent chance of it being dry for a few days here. So 78 degrees uh, at 7 o'clock tonight. We're going to keep it into the 70s through your evening hours, through the overnight hours. Very little change in the temperatures, very little change in the humidity levels. Your air conditioner is going to be running all night long, not because it's going to be all that warm, I mean mid to low 70s, but the humidity is just going to stay sticky, and so that's going to help out, I'm sure. Flash flood watch is uh, mentioned in through the day tomorrow. By the end of the week, that chance becomes more pop-up afternoon storms, not just the spigot that's turned on. And then Saturday, still holding on to a dry potential there at 87 degrees. And then more pop-up showers and storms uh, into next week as well. But hopefully we can have a couple of days where we just don't have as much widespread heavy rain, guys. All right, Bill, thank you. And we were just chatting. Uh, forget about the humidity for a second, and it kind of feels like fall. It does, and football season right around the corner. Right, That's just crazy. in time, I guess. There's one positive. There you go. So Redskins training camp starts later this week, but Ravens camp is already underway. Joe Flacco, he's the number one QB in Baltimore, but all eyes are on the rookie, Lamar Jackson. Big changes are coming to Belfort. Our new showroom is opening soon and we need to make room. Shop our summer clearance event and save up to 80% off lists on floor samples, closeouts, and special buys. Plus, save up to $1,000 more on blue tag items at Belfort Furniture. Sweat the details. It's what you do when the thing you're making isn't a thing. It's your reputation. The all-new Ram 1500. Comfortably the most luxurious truck in its class and why more people are switching to Ram than ever before Finance and get an average 12,992 in total values on the 2018 Ram 1500 or welcome